Hey guys, welcome back to Arcade Garage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Today, we're gonna bolt the timing cover on, everything else associated with that. Get the sun on, get that all sealed up, and then we're gonna go back and revisit the rockers, because I did bolt them all on yesterday, but when they're on the base circle of the cam, so the opposite end of the load, uh, they were compressing the valve springs a bit, which means they're opening the valve. So I'm gonna, just gonna go over that, use my push rod length checker, as well and try to get that all sorted and yeah we'll just continue on getting this engine all done and I've uh, got a bolt all the turbo manifold on and what not my turbo and I'm gonna make some lines up later so that'll probably be another video but it's basically what we're at today and I gotta do a big clean up of all the shit around here. Alright so <coughs> wax the gasket on now I'm just gonna whack the timing cover. sits on there and obviously you just got to line up the gasket as well make sure you're going to find the bolts to start things off though I'm going to put the uh, crank angle sensor in I've got a brand new Delphi crank angle sensor pull that out These just get bolted in there and there. So I'm just gonna make sure that my gasket lines up. That's on loose. I'll leave it loose for now because I'll torque everything up at the same time. So, I've got a few of my bolts in. Uh, there's a couple more I've got to find, but I'm going to start to torque the ones I do have down. So, for these, you torque them to anywhere between 20 to 30 newton meters. So, in between this, I've got it goes to 27.1. So, it's pretty much in the middle. So that's how I'm going to do it. I am going to start with this one here because it's the closest to the middle. Now that that's not going to just stick all the rest of them snug by hand. Just so that it doesn't pull shit in a weird way. All right, so. That one's tight. That one's tight. That one's tight. And uh, I'll go to this one. It's tight. Tight. 
Alright, so they're good. I might just up them a bit. Now, that's on 30. Double check I did this one. This pesky one. All right. So that's that one done. I just got two more bolts. One there, one there. I just got to find this one. Turned out to be the wrong one. I think this is intake manifold. So I'm gonna find those. I'll whack them in, get them torqued up to spec, and then we'll flip her over, whack the sump on. All right. I like to put a, a dab of RTV just over where all the joins are, so the timing cover and the rear main. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a small line there will suffice because the gasket does have its own sealing properties. Put a bit extra on just to be safe. Alright, so then go and place it down. That lines up. Beautiful, like that. You want to grab your sump. I sit down and start whacking all your bolts in. I usually give them a quick whiz up with the drill.
I like to work my way from the middle out. Then I'm going to torque them to spec. Last couple ones under here, which I'll do. Uh, I'm just going to get some block off holes for the old knock sensors because I threw all my standard ones out. Or oh, I've got to source some. Either way, is what it is. So uh, I'll get these all torqued and we'll come back. So, sump's all bolted down, and now it's time to put the harmonic balancer on. So I got my crank angle sensor in, all the bolts have been torqued to spec, sump bolts are torqued to spec, so take that out. You need to make sure of these that you line the keyway. Up correctly. And it'll only go on one way really. Which is right there. Now I'm gonna send it home using this, not the rattle gun. This will Pull it in until it wants to turn the motor over. Which is about there. Nicely. And since I can't put my car in reverse and have the flywheel on, flywheel on to hold anything, I'm just going to tighten her up with this. It's pretty much stopped turning there. And then there we go, harmonic balancer is on. Uh, now I'm going to fuck around a while with the rockers off camera and cut back once that's done and you guys will see the intake manifold going on. I, I may have to order uh, new, what do you call it? I may have to order new um, rockers, uh, not rockers, push rods, different length. So we'll see, but until then I'm gonna crack on and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Right, so I hope you got the right push rods to suit. So I'm gonna get my push rod length checker out. I'm gonna get a new push rod in. I'm just gonna Put a dab of assembly lube. So like that. I'm gonna get my rocker, slide that in. 
get that seated into place. Now, you want to twist the push rod and tighten this up softly till you feel some resistance, which you can double check it a couple times to make sure which there. Then you want to get basically half to three quarters of a turn. So I want to start there. Make sure she's central. And then from that point there, he's bang on half. So I just want to double check that it wasn't opening the valve. No, which it wasn't. So And then that one there is set up. So I'm gonna do the same for this one. Now I need to rotate it so that this one here is on the base circle. Do this, do the rest. I'll go around, hope it's all good. So I'll time lapse it for you guys. All right, so they're all in. Um, zero lash, three quarters of a turn on them. 0.7250 length push rods is what I ended up needing. Um, what concerns me though is when they're on the base circle, so when the lifter is all the way down, I can push down into the plunger. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that just means the lifters need to bleed up. There's no oil in there. Um, the ones that are up though, so like this one here, has absolutely no give whatsoever, which makes me feel a bit better about it. If anyone here knows about this, about that, let me know, because probably the car probably hasn't started by the time this video comes out, so I still have time to rectify it. But anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this video off. Uh, I think the last one was a really long one. So in the next one, we'll get the intake manifold on, uh, engine mounts, starter motor, etc., 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 all that fun stuff. So once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one.